Hello everyone, welcome to Adderap and welcome to the success story session. In today's session, we have with us Mr. Vinod who has cleared the RBI grade B this year that is in 2022 and let's understand from him that what was his strategy for clearing the RBI grade B in this year. So first of all, let's understand from him only his educational background and how he came to uh, prepare for the RBI grade B. First of all, heartiest congratulations to you, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So, sir, can you tell a little about yourself, about your educational background, how you came to know about RBI? Well, actually, I completed my graduation in mechanical engineering in 2015. And uh, I decided to prepare for UPSC exams. And uh, I gave uh, four mains continuously. Okay. Actually, I did not know about the RBI much. One of my friends who did not clear the prelims in UPSC suggested me regarding RBI. So uh, I applied for RBI also. And this is my second attempt with RBI. I have clear. Okay. And... Attempt also, I attended the interview stage. Could not clear. Okay. But in the first attempt also, you were able to reach till the interview stage. And in the yes, second attempt, you have cleared the RBI grade. That B, grade B. That's really nice to hear. So, sir, you have given like UPSC four attempts you have given. And you have, you have reached till the main stage. As well as you gave the RBI attempts. So, it, it was a long process, I can say, for yes, preparing for the competitive exam. So, how you kept yourself motivated? Um, motivation is mainly the support from my family and the friends. Many of the um, relatives criticized me for not taking up the job, but my family was very supportive. And also the friend circle. Uh, in that way, I was um, always motivated. Okay. Uh, did you, like, in the phase of the preparation, did you ever felt like should like I should leave this kind of preparation or you felt demotivated? No, ma'am. Okay. Actually, I was always motivated because uh, my family was very supportive. Hmm. Okay. Yes, that is really nice to hear that the support from the family is a big element uh, that comes in the motivation part. So that is really nice to hear. I think we can move to the interview part now. And for all the aspirants that are preparing out there, that are preparing for any of the exams, they should keep their self motivated. Then only they will reach to the phase that you have reached. Yes, yes, okay. Actually, they do not. They should not think about anything other than preparing. During their preparation. Yes. Surrounding true. people may say many words. You should not listen to them. Yes. So, yes. Like your relatives also criticized you. But still you were focused that, yeah, I will prepare for this. And I will be able to clear this mm -hmm. with my efforts. Yes, ma'am. We should have faith in ourselves. True. Other fruits will come. It's a... Yes. So now I think we can move to the interview part. So we will start with the strategy of the phase one, then we will move to the strategy of phase two, and then we will understand from him about the interview part. So let's start with the phase one. So uh, how was your preparation for the uh, general awareness? How you prepared for that? For general awareness, I also to refer uh, daily notes hmm. uh, from the website. And uh, in the end, I used to refer to two magazines. Okay. To different magazines and I used it to make a micro notes of the important topics where the maximum questions comes like banking, finance hmm. and that uh, reports and all because it is difficult to remember also. Yes. I used to, I referred for a six months magazine okay. and prepared micro notes for that and less important topics like uh, dates and all because we could not remember that I left those topics Okay. and for reasoning uh, and aptitude uh, mainly uh, Mock test, man. Okay. I used to give multiple mock tests, including the three mock tests conducted by EduTab. Okay. Uh, when the exam, by giving, and also I refer to the revision series by okay. EduTab. It helps to, uh, in revision also, and also to refer to the topics which we have left out. By giving the revision, hmm. revision series, uh, it helped me a lot. Okay, so it was like uh, the main thing for the general awareness was like you prepared for the six months and you made your own notes, micro notes. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell a little about the micro notes? Micro notes, I used to only one word, ma'am. Actually, actually, important sub topics like banks in banking and finance. There were multiple apps and also programs undertaken by banks. Hmm. I used to write a column like uh, banking, banks, and the I used to write only one word. Uh, answer. Because in RBI, they will not have analytical, mm. mainly based on facts. True. It would be easy to remember also and also for quick revision. Yeah. 
So that is really nice that if the banking news is there, there are so many banks that are launching different things. So you can just write the important like what they have launched and the name of the bank that has launched that. So in that way, you can remember the facts because the facts are asked in the phase one GA especially. So now uh, then you told about the quant and reasoning that you were able to give mock tests. Like you only focused on your strengths, the topics that you were very yeah. comfortable with and then you gave mock. In quant and reasoning, actually you should do smart work. Hmm. Because uh, this year, reasoning, most of the puzzles were unsolvable. Hmm. If you go to puzzle solving, the time would uh, we would uh, exit the time limit. Hmm. By doing uh, multiple marks, we should we will be know which which are our strong areas. True. Okay. So yeah, from practice and from seeing the mocks only, you understand that okay, I can attempt such kind of questions and I shouldn't attempt such kind of questions. That is true. So now for the English part, did you prepare or you left it that I am comfortable with that I will be able to? No, ma'am. English, uh, mostly marks. I gave two to three marks. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, now we can move to the phase two. Before that, like uh, I would like to ask a question that for the general awareness, how many months of uh, the preparation is needed? Like uh, for six months, you should prepare the general awareness. Nine months or twelve months? No, ma'am. Actually, six to four. Four or six months is enough. Okay. Actually, I had time, so I prepared for six months. Okay. If they do not have four months, if we okay. prepare comfortably for four months. Okay, so you should focus majorly on the four months before the examination, exactly. and uh, if like you want to go to in depth, then you can go like wider section. Then you can go for the six months. That is nice. Now I think we can move to the phase two part, starting with the ESI section. Like the ESI is something uh, that is quite vast in syllabus, and so how did you prepare for ESI? Um, uh, actually, being uh, in my preparation for UPSC. ESI was not so difficult for me because I had uh, also prepared the notes in advance and I had read the multiple books. So okay. that uh, subject was very easy for me. I uh, so did not concentrate much on that. But this year, uh, the objective was very difficult because of the schemes. Insta, but if it is difficult for uh, everybody, it will be difficult. And, uh, and also schemes, uh, I, I mainly concentrated on the subject now. If economics is there, departments, uh, main, 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 main ministries, seven to eight ministries, mm. because we cannot remember all the ministries. True. Uh, according to syllabus, uh, we should prepare uh, eight to nine ministries. Okay. Like Ministry of Human Resource, Ministry of Commerce. And all. Okay. So can you tell uh, more about the ministries, like uh, uh, the name of the ministry, so that the new aspirants are able to focus on those? Yes, madam. Uh, economics and social issues. In economics, we come up Ministry of Road and Transport, Ministry of Finance, and uh, Ministry of uh, Commerce. Okay. And if you come to social, there is Ministry of Women and Child Development, mm. Ministry of Health, mm. and Ministry of Tribal Affairs. These okay. main ministries. Mean. Okay, thank you so much, sir. I hope that the aspirants will uh, like focus on that and they will learn from it. So now I think for the new aspirants, how they can uh, focus on the ESI, the preparation for the general awareness and ESI, did you do them together or you did the preparation for ESI after phase two? Like phase, no, after phase actually, two. I did the phase one and phase two simultaneously, but okay. 15 days before phase one, I, I completely focused on GA revision. Mm -hmm. Division series launched by EduTap mm -hmm. and multiple marks. Actually, before 15 days, you should give at least uh, five to six marks in those 15 days. Okay. Uh, because it will help in time management mm -hmm. and also relieve the pressure of the examination. That's true. So, uh, like you did the combined pr uh, preparation for the GA and the ESI, but after phase one, uh, like before the phase one only for the 15 days, you focused on GA only, like for the okay. revision part. And after okay. that, like phase one, you prepared for the ESI. So, so uh, now coming to the descriptive part, how are you like, what is a good framework according to you for the answer writing? Actually, for answer writing, first we should uh, give a brief introduction. Introduction can be any current, in ESI, we can give any current events. Our social, uh, you can give any case studies also mm -hmm. often. Uh, and a uh, body, you should divide my mind. They have uh, asked for 600 uh, words hmm. for 15 marks. 100 words, you should give introduction. And uh, for body, you should keep 300 to 400 words. And uh, 50 to 100 words, you should give a conclusion. Many times, they do not ask the solutions in the question. But it's better to write uh, in the conclusion also. 
so that uh, it will be able to impress the evaluator yeah true so that is really nice that for the conclusion you have you should give some solution for the problem that is being asked even if they have not asked it's better to write in one or two words hmm. the conclusion okay so that is uh, good so now i think we can move to the fm part now coming from the non like non commerce background coming from the engineering background how were you able to clear that uh, finance and management syllabus but actually it was a new subject for me especially management finance was uh, something overlapping with uh, yes also which we prepared actually management was completely new subject for me in my first attempt actually i did not have the time because i completed my mains upsc mains and uh, after completing my there was only 15 days for phase 1 okay uh, completely prepared for phase 2 after phase 1 to mean my first attempt okay and uh, in that time uh, as as i actually prepared for upsc mains yes i i completely focused on management okay and uh, i took some notes available in the market and uh, i pre- for management i prepared the notes madam by reading the notes means uh, if you re- in 15 to 20 pages the entire uh, management notes hmm. especially the first seven topics up to communication okay. because in eth- ethics and all uh, we also read in the upsc preparation for that those seven topics i prepared the notes uh, for, uh, uh, micro notes also only in 10 to 15 pages that's so the by that uh, it helped me okay so you made your own notes and the micro notes you made so that you can focus on the revision and that will help you in the revision actually, part actually because in management theories were very difficult to remember hmm. if you have uh, all the theories uh, compare in the in the single page hmm. it's better to revise and also remember okay so now i think we can move to that uh, the f like descriptive part of fm were you able to stick to the word limit were you able to complete the word limits yes madam actually because in C, if they ask 600 it is no not necessary to write if you uh, have very really good content for 450 to 550 words is enough okay actually this time i exceeded uh, yes so social society question on i wrote uh, 700 words now. okay you know uh, because of that i could not get the time for uh, 10 more questions okay. but i was able to manage it okay so uh, now in the fm uh, and the esi descriptive did you practice a lot when it comes to the typing like uh, did you practice for that i swear i actually did not practice a very decent speed is enough we do not okay. uh, need too much speed hmm. if we able to type for 20 minutes 20 words per minute hmm. it's fine everyone can practice if they practice uh, one or two paper by giving marks mm-hmm. will help okay so now i think we can come to the english descriptive did you uh, practice english descriptive or you were confident on your uh, you were confident on your skills that i will be able to write well no ma'am actually i collected some facts for essay actually, actually essay mm-hmm. okay. and also saw the videos of navin sir regarding precise and all because mm-hmm. essay used to write in upsc but precise and uh, this one We, uh, we did not have the pattern i referred to the navin sir's videos navin sir how to yeah. attempt as precise and all and uh, i collected uh, the current topics few facts and all hmm. to add in this okay so yeah navin sir's video is quite good uh, in yes. the yeah so he released the videos in the youtube adutab youtube yes. channel uh, right adutab yeah. youtube okay okay so yeah that is really good now um, what is the pattern of the choosing of the question should we do essay first or the pressy first or reading comprehension first but um, actually uh, i used to write the essay first okay uh, my choice was i used to attempt in the same manner uh, as there was in the question paper hmm. because in precise we can cut short the time if there is no time available it's but uh, in precise uh, we can adjust the time but uh, in essay when when we are writing hmm. we cannot uh, cut short the matter in essay but in precise if you know the content of that because we would have read that it's very easy to so i used to attend first essay first hmm. then the passage and then uh, precise it okay so i think uh, we have covered for the esi part that uh, you were able to prepare the esi part with the ga as well as uh, like your uh, background also helped you a lot uh, yes, the upsc background and in the writing part also i think now uh, in the fm again you were able to clear the Uh, finance part and the management you practice a lot and you made your own notes that helped you yes. a lot so 
and english also we have discussed now there is a question regarding the uh, writing part that uh, when it comes to the finance and management do you think that in depth knowledge is important or just the overall like the base knowledge is the basic is best knowledge is enough in depth knowledge is not needed the best knowledge is enough and uh, there are some numericals also or uh, you think that there are no such things no well, actually there are numericals in the syllabus but uh, since the last year they are not asking okay actually uh, i also prepared a numerical system because i had time Hmm. My sister is from commerce background. Okay. She has done M com. Hmm. She helped me with that numerical. Okay. Okay, but I, you think that the preparation is not needed for the numericals as the questions are not much. Yes, uh, questions are not. Okay. So I think we can move to the interview part now. So how was the interview? First of all, the overall idea. Ah, uh, intro okay was okay. Not so good as compared last year. It was okay. Okay. So there were six members. Hmm. Uh, all of them asked the questions. Uh, okay. Interview was for twenty to twenty five minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. As compared to last year, this year I was comfortable and uh, was able to speak okay. easily. And I think the marks are out for the uh, phases, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you share the marks for the phase one, phase two, and interview? If you are comfortable, then only. Yes, ma'am. Actually, I got uh, phase one. Uh, yeah. Eighty is eighty five something. Okay. In that fifty uh, five was from GK. Okay. Fifty five to fifty six marks. Okay. From GK. Okay. In first two, I got two uh, hundred marks. Two hundred. Okay. Completely. And interview, I was at but I got thirty eight. That is also nice. Now in the phase two, like uh, your strength was what the ESI FM or FM. FM, ma'am. Actually, yeah, FM because ESI was my strength, but it, this this year the Average was very low in ESI, fifty okay. or something. Okay. I got in that also. I got decent marks, sixty-five. I got okay in ESI, and uh, FM I got seventy-two uh, or seventy-three. Okay, so in English also I was able to improve the marks as compared to I improved the nine to eight marks, eight to okay. nine marks. That is really nice. Like coming from the UPSC background, we expect like the ESI will be better. But still, yeah. like you were not from the management, like commerce background. Still, you were able to do a uh, better in the finance and management. So yeah. this is for all the students, the aspirants that are out there that are not from the commerce background. They can actually do better, or they can actually do uh, good in the finance yeah. and management part. They should not be very afraid because the syllabus is given, and you just have to do that much. so that is like the marks that we have heard it will have given a uh, cl clarity to the students that okay i can do better in finance and management even though i am not from that background so now like moving forward with the interview how was the panel a panel was uh, card mm except two members actually i had no work experience at all uh, except uh, uh, there were six member panel including two females okay uh, actually The panel of this, uh, they used to ask the questions, ma'am. Uh, Amrita Pranjan sir, panelist was there for me. Uh, they sir used to ask uh, to tell about some topic for two to three minutes. Hmm. Actually, every candidate was got the same question by different. I got uh, about social corporate social responsibility. Okay. And on that, uh, I got two more questions. Okay. Uh, I answered all the questions uh, comfortably, except I do. It's better to say that uh, you, should, you do not know instead of answering wrong. Hmm. There, it will not uh, put a wrong impression. If you hmm. say the wrong answer, then it will uh, put wrong impression on you. True. So you should like what we have understood from uh, Vinod sir that uh, you should just say no if you do not know the answer because they are the panel and they are quite experienced so they will know that you are just mumbling and you are just saying whatever is coming into your mind without knowing the answer. You so so in, saying no is better than uh, giving any of the answer or rotating the question here and there. As well as like uh, you said that there was some questions on your work experience. Something like that. So no, no, no. I was I had no experience, but I had worked uh, as a content developer okay. and uh, evaluator in some UPS institute. Okay. Uh, one of the interviewer asked the questions on that. In which subjects did you work? Okay. And uh, what were the books you referred? Okay. And uh, two to three questions on that. Okay. And uh, were there some questions from your bio data? Other questions? No, ma'am. Actually, they asked uh, what were you doing uh, all these times to uh, complete. It has been six years since your graduation. Hmm. I said that uh, I come. Uh, I have given UPSC mains for them. 
sir mm-hmm. after that uh, they did not ask any questions regarding my uh, graduation or uh, bio data okay and so many of the questions were from technical background only ah uh, technical background. okay so can you like you have told about the corporate social responsibility any other questions do you remember uh, actually madam i have uploaded i am not able to remember questions no worries yeah so like now i think we are at the end of the session and any any message for the aspirants out there that are preparing for such a long time that are demotivated or for the new aspirants also i'm actually while preparing you should not focus on anything you should to have the faith and confidence in you mm-hmm. and you should not uh, listen to the people who talk negatively mm-hmm. if you have the support of family it's better you prepare uh, and uh, don't listen to anybody except your family and close friends okay uh, fruits will come uh, it will take time but uh, will be, eventually you will be successful yeah so the efforts are there the motivation should be there and the discipline should be there and then the results will come that is true so thank you very much vinod sir for coming okay thank you